Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get all actors with interface? I've got a quick little example here. If we actually run it, we'll find nothing happens. We have a zero at the top, and what that is is the total number of actors with a specific interface. So how does this work? Well, our get all actors of interface node basically takes an interface as an input type and outputs an array of all the actors that inter implement that interface. It's useful if you need to find how many things implement a certain interface and then maybe you need to do something with it. Now a get all actor node, there's the interface and class, they're a little bit performance heavy. It's not something you might want to do every frame. You can do it every so often. But it's useful if someone else is level building for you and you don't want to really restrict them. Here's an example. Let's say I was to take my box and I put my box in the scene. And this box is going to represent my enemy. And we'll go ahead and we'll put a cup. We'll put one more in here. We'll put three of them in here. And let's say I run this and now you're going to notice I have three. Now if I use the get all class and I got all my boxes, which represent my enemies, I'm going to be restricted to this as my enemy type. Now maybe I want to have a parent class and then everything subclasses. But another way to do it is with interfaces. You can think of interfaces not only as a way to pass along events and functions, but also a way to tag things easily. So on each of these boxes, they all implement the interface enemy. In addition to that, I have another enemy type. I have over here my generic actor dummy, and it's also tagged as an enemy. So now if I run this, you'll find I have four different enemies. And the nice thing about this is I don't have to restrict my level designer, and I don't have to count certain things in the beginning. I can, for example, just make sure things are designed properly. They're all using the same interface, and then it doesn't matter how many of these boxes I put in the scene. As long as they're tagged appropriately and my code works properly, in this case I'm going to get all the enemies before I start my map, and maybe put them into an array, which it does here, and then maybe sort them out or keep track of them. So now, when I hit play, I have six enemies. I didn't need to change any code, I didn't need to check ahead of time. I'm using the get all actors of the interface to look for how many actors implement this interface and then it outputs an array I can do whatever I want with. Keep in mind this is at runtime. It's only going to check for things that are actually in your level. So if you're spawning things obviously afterwards it's not going to work. That's it. That is what our get all actors with interface node is for. If you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below.